when your car is off there's no vacuum and your economy gauge will be right over on the right hand side as soon as you turn your car on the engine should have vacuum and that should fall all the way down to zero when you're idling if you find that when you're idling that gauge is not falling to zero it means or almost certainly means that you've got a vacuum leak somewhere and we're going to have a go and see if we can find that vacuum leak a vacuum leak can be responsible for is a um, poor cold start you might sometimes find that when your car's cold it wants to stumble and kick out when you first touch the accelerator that's usually what happens to this car for some strange reason it didn't happen today you might also find that you've got a high idle on your car while it's um, when the engine is warm so we're gonna have a go and see if we can figure out where that vacuum leak is Test our car for vacuum leaks which I think may be affecting the cold start of the car and then um, you can go out there and buy a commercial smoke machine for vacuum testing for about a 500 pounds or something like that but I'm gonna see if this works basically I was sitting in a pub once which had loads of wasps around it and the pub owner came and just lit some coffee grinds and the smoke from the coffee grinds kept the wasps away and I want to see if I can actually make a smoke machine from coffee grinds. I've just got a couple of um, spoons of coffee in there and let's see what happens when we light that. You can see that that's starting to create quite a bit of smoke as is. All this is is some fresh coffee in there lit with a standard cigarette lighter or oven lighter and then what we've done in here is we've just taped in a standard valve from one of these bicycle pumps here it's a few pounds from the bicycle shop and we've just taken the um, vacuum line out of here put an old bit of vacuum line in just sealed it with some hot glue so that's now sealed and this is an old bit of vacuum line here this bit of rubber and this was just a spare bit so we've taken this unplugged it from here and as we pump what happens is we're pumping smoke down into the vacuum system and that's escaping through the leaks this will be slightly different for an automatic car this is a manual and all i've taken all i've done is i've basically taken the rubber bit off the air filter and just blocked up the air this is the air intake here so air can't basically be sucked in and that should in theory mean that the whole system is sealed you can just see it leaking see it leaking just where that pipe rubber pipe joins that plastic pipe and also possibly at that fitting there so if you've got poor running poor starting poor cold start something like that on your SL before you go swapping out parts etc um, just check that you haven't got any vacuum leaks and there we go we found our vacuum leak now we have to go about trying to get in there and um, take out that fitting which looks like it's going to be a royal nightmare and see if we can have a look at it 